Hi everyone. Today let's see how we can perform into warehouse transfers in Odoo 14. So when owning several warehouses, you might need to transfer goods from one warehouse to another. So we can call such behavior as into warehouse transfers. Okay, so first let's uh, open inventory module and go to configuration settings. So the first thing is you have to enable storage location from settings. Okay, so when you come below, you can see that option under warehouse. Okay, so after that, here yeah, come under configuration where you can find our warehouses. Okay, you can see already we have two warehouses and you can create a new one by clicking on create button. Okay, and here we can provide the warehouse name. Okay, and we can also provide a short code, short name to identify the warehouse. And we can set the warehouse configuration, including incoming shipments, outgoing shipments. Then here we can provide some technical information related to warehouse and you can save it. So this short name is really important because it appears on your transfer orders and other warehouse documents. So use an understandable one uh, so that you can identify them easily. Okay, so you can see the location stock. You can see it is now W3 stock. Now, when you go back to dashboard, that is inventory overview, you can see a new operation types are created related to your warehouse, uh, which, which is automatically generated. Okay, so you can see those. Now we can come under operation and create a new inventory adjustment. And here we can provide location. So I'm selecting my W3 stock. And if you want to uh, select, that is apply this to adjustment to specific products, you can select those from here. Okay, so after setting other details, you can start inventory. Okay, uh, currently we don't have any products in our new warehouse. Okay, we can make inventory, inventory adjustment and set a counter that is real quantity for products. You can see the difference. Okay, so after making adjustment, you can just validate the inventory. So these uh, will be updated on, on the product. That is adjustment will be done automatically. So don't forget to validate your inventory adjustment once you have recorded the state of your products. Now we can come under operation and make an internal transfer. So when you come to overview, you can see internal transfers. Here, when you click on three dot three dot, you can see plan transfer. Okay, so here you can select the contact, then operation type. 
So we are performing an internal transfers for moving a product from a first warehouse to second warehouse. So you can select the source location and okay, let me change this destination location to W3 stock. And here we can add the product that you want to transfer. I'm adding five quantities. Okay, 50 quantities. Now just save the inventory and let's save the transfer and this mark as two. So I can find an option to check the availability. Okay, you can see uh, it is reserved. That is automatically the five products are reserved. Now we can validate the transfer. Okay, so the transfer is done. So when you check the product moves, large cabinet you can see five quantities are moved from stock to that is first warehouse stock to uh, WST stock so when you click on it you can see the details so that's how we make an in the trans in the warehouse transfer in order 14 and if you have any doubts related to this video Please add your comments below.